Hello, welcome. My name is Beverly. This is my channel, Miles and Coffee. I really thank you for joining me today for a coffee talk. The coffee talk videos are designed for me to share my thoughts from my heart uh, with you, the viewers or visitors or, and subscribers. So thank you. Uh, I must say thank you to the subscribers for joining the newsletter. Thank you to those who have sent coffee donations for my birthday. Thank you. You are greatly appreciated. And thank you for the birthday wishes. I really do appreciate that. Don't forget to hit the like button, thumbs up, um, and um, you'll want to share this video. It's about travel safety. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing because I'm going the channel and um, anything you do to share, like, leave a comment helps the algorithm so that more people will see this video. Now, I must warn you in advance, I, what I am about to share can be triggering. So if you are very sensitive to discussions uh, about violence toward women, I will ask you to fast forward for the next five minutes. That I'll leave some chapters below for the video um, about a woman in Dominican Republic. And then um, my thoughts or my take about what happened and some things to consider after the video. And I'm, I'm just gonna share it by holding my phone up. And I'll also leave the link below. You know, um, I am living abroad. We share tips about living and traveling abroad. And I have had a wonderful experience, but my channel is designed to give you the good, the bad and the ugly. And today's video will share some of the unfortunate bad experiences and the ugly Parts about traveling abroad. So without further ado, I will share the video starting now. If it, it will be triggering, triggering for you, I would suggest that you use some discretion. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, let's make sure my volume is turned all the way up so that you can hear what has happened to this woman when she went about two weeks ago to travel in the Dominican Republic. Let's see if we can get it for you. A white soul woman is sharing her story. She says she was drugged and sexually assaulted on vacation in the Dominican Republic in January. She told me that she went to Punta Cana to ring in the new year, but it turned into a nightmare. Now, typically, Channel 9 does not identify sexual assault victims, but Angie Jackson told me she feels it's important to warn others about her experience. First, we have to let you know that some might find the details in this report disturbing. Well, as a getaway trip, it seemed like the perfect vacation. I love all-inclusive resorts. I love just hanging out by the pool and the beach. Angie Jackson was enjoying the Dominican Republic. But I was having a really good time. Then one night, her friend went to bed early. Angie says she stayed downstairs to watch the entertainment. I had a glass of wine. They would come and wait on you and bring it from the bar. And that last show, this is the last thing I remember. The next thing I remember, I was landing on the ground from a car. Jolted awake when her knees hit the pavement. She says she was dumped in an alley behind the hotel. My dress was so bled. She was rushed to the hospital. I was told by them that um, I had been brutally raped with either metal or glass. Angie says she asked for the police, who did not show up until the next day, did not speak English, stayed just 10 minutes, and did not take notes. Her body started swelling. The doctor told her she might not survive. And I said, I, just, I can't be here. I can't, I can't die here. <laughs> And I just want to get back to my kids so bad. That's when she says they started pressing her for money. He said that I needed to do more transfusions, but that um, every transfusion was $1,000. And I'd already burned up $8,000. And that I needed to pay that before I could get any more. And I said, I don't have $8,000 cash just laying around. I'm a single mom. 
Angie Jackson says she drained her kid's college fund and borrowed money from relatives and friends to pay the bill. Then, despite the doctor's warning that her life was still at risk, she boarded the next flight, anxious to get home. After getting back home to the U.S. and talking to officials at the U.S. Embassy, she was pointed to this, a travel alert for tourists about the DR, which has a threat level 2. It warns rapes and sexual assaults have been reported throughout the DR, including at major resorts and hotels, and that U.S. citizens have been targeted with date rape drugs. It also warns of the country's weak criminal justice system. Now, Angie plans to constantly tell people to be cautious, too. Just always watch where you're at. Always watch where you're at. They have online um, the websites that will show you what the threat level is of a different country. You know, if it's two or higher, don't go. Don't go. It's not worth it. Now, we chose not to name the resort because according to the warning from the U.S. State Department, Crimes like this are widespread in the Dominican Republic and not isolated to one hotel. Angie Jackson says the U.S. Embassy there told her for a criminal investigation to take place, she would have needed to stay in the country and work with local authorities. But she said she was so traumatized and just wanted to get back to safety in the U.S. A State Department official has confirmed to us that they are aware of this case, but they couldn't comment further. Just feel so badly for her. She's there going through all that all alone. She did raise to you a lot of questions, I know, about how everything that happened and how it was handled. And she kind of feels like all of it might have been orchestrated somehow. That's right. And there are a lot of things we're still investigating with this case. We've contacted the resort. We contacted the hospital and the police in the Dominican Republic. And as soon as I have more answers, of course, we will share those with you. But the bottom line here is she wants others to check those travel warnings in advance, no matter where you're headed. We've posted how you can do that inside our WSOC TV news app. And coming up tonight at 11, more on protecting yourself and your family from travel and how Angie Jackson and her friends are now helping. Okay. Okay. I have several points that I would like to make uh, based on what we just listened to. This is, this, is, this is absolutely horrible, okay? So first of all, thank God that Angie made it home alive. As grim as that sounds, she, she did suffer a traumatic, horrible, um, in criminal experience. She was injured severely, but she made it home. So we pray for her recovery. That's first and from Anne, I'm thankful that she had the presence to contact the news reporters and share so that we can govern ourselves accordingly. Second, on this channel, you have heard me say time and time again to consult the US Travel Advisory and look at the alerts for various places before you travel. According to some travel alerts, and I'm not sure where that one was, but again, I'll show you here the levels. And this particular spot, the Dominican Republican was only at yellow travel alert. But according to what happened to this woman, being raped and violated in such a brutal manner, I believe that the travel alert should be upgraded to red, do not travel. Okay, there have been various incidents in the Dominican Republic of people being either killed or poisoned, and in this case, raped. For example, tip number three, listen to what the news reporter said. She said, this happens regularly, too often for my comfort level. That is another reason why the travel alert should be at level red, do not under any circumstances travel to the Dominican Republic. Um, 
on this channel as well. I did in a past few, uh, video that I'll leave here. You can check out the dangers of alcohol when you travel. This woman was enjoying a lounge act and she may have been a little bit inebriated and next thing she knew she was being thrown out of a car. Uh, maybe there was some date rape drug um, injected somehow, you know. So again, we have to be cautious of not only where, but what we are doing. And she was not with her friend. Her friend was upstairs sleeping and she chose to stay in the lounge alone. And obviously somebody was watching her. Uh, number four, my next tip is um, be aware of the scams that might take place depending on where you're going. This woman, Angie, was taken advantage of them three times. First of all, by the assailants who did this to her. And second of all, at the hospital. You can listen again to what she describes as, you know, having to come up with so much money. And then third, she was, she was taken advantage of by the police. So that is why you really need to do your research, watch videos, know what's happening, consult those travel advisories, and especially for women. She said if it's level two or higher, level three, Two should be, you know, low level crimes, not rape, pickpocketing. Level three is usually where you're getting into serious crimes, three and four. Three would be orange and, then, you know, red would be serious crimes such as what happened to this woman. If I would say if it's three or higher, reconsider. Three is usually the United States will say reconsider your travel anyway, but, but level four, Red, do not, when it says do not travel, do not travel. Okay, so I'm saying all that to say research is key. Travel advisories are key. And listening to what's happening in these places, she was at a resort, all inclusive, where it's supposed to be safe. And it could be depending on where you are traveling to, what country. Okay, um, I, I really, thought long and hard about whether to share this one, but on the safe, uh, on, I would rather err on the side of caution and for the sake of safety, I think that I'm doing the right thing by sharing. If you know someone who is interested in uh, information about the Dominican Republic, or maybe has a trip book there, or maybe wants more information about how to stay safe when traveling abroad, please share this video. Thank you so much for joining me today from where I am in Mexico to wherever you are. Take one day at a time. Keep it simple and stay safe, my friend. Until next time. And please check out the, um, the travel series here on safety and also the one about alcohol here. It will be very informative. Bye for now.